and that's one of the key drivers of muscle, which is volume. So the more you can get in, the bigger the muscle's gonna grow. And Tyson's tip of the day. Guys, you need to find out what your trigger foods are in order to help keep your cravings and everything under control. Now, I'm going to show you guys right here what I've got in my pantry. Well, my one anyways compared to everyone else's. So I want you today to clear out every single thing that is not helping you towards your goals. Now, I want to show you guys really, really quickly what's in my cupboard right here. You can see you've got coconut oil. You've got oats. I've got uh, nuts in there with some oats. I have got tahini. I've got more nuts, coffee, tea, mushroom coffee. Then I've got fish. I've got mackerel. I've got salmon, and I've got herring. Okay, that is all I've got in my cupboard. If you guys can see, even if I have a sneaky look around here, you can see that I've got right there is my water bottle. I've got sweet potato. I've got some vitamin D spray and some uh, uh, enzymes. And I've got some actually packaged seaweed there, if you guys can see it. Boom, seaweed. Now, my cupboard is not full of crap. And you know why? Because when you don't have any of that stuff there, when you're craving it, you're not going to have it because there's nothing there that you can have. I mean, yeah, sure. If you're craving something, go nuts on go, like go nuts and have some fish or go and have something healthy, but you're not going to be craving all those snacky junk foods that you know is not going to help you in the right place. Now, let me show you what my housemates have got. Up here, Wick Bix, Muesli's, Crackers, um, instant coffee that's got like a whole bunch of crap in it. Then you look down here at the same type of thing. There's Nest Quick back there. And then down the bottom, there's nuts, there's snacks. There's all these other things that are temptations all the time. So if your cupboard looks more like this, then you need to be getting rid of it immediately because at the end of the day, when you have sugar cravings and all of a sudden, this is here, mega nuts. Or if you've got some, let's have a look here. What else have they got that could be a snack? You've got some, Ritz packets of biscuits, of course you're going to go and fall into those traps. Of course you're gonna to want to have that stuff there. And if it's there, it's available, it's easy. The rule is do not have the foods that you know you'll snack on, eat, binge in your house. Now that's my pantry. Let's move on to the fridge. Now I've actually just decided to make this video right now. So let's actually have a look if I'm guilty of anything on the top of my fridge. So let's have a look here. In my aisle, which is here, You've got sweet potato all here. I've got vegetables here. I've got a plastic container that's empty for some reason. I have got yogurt, which you guys can see right here. That's liver. Yogurt. What else have I got? Avocado. That is what's on my shelf. Now, let's say you had temptations. Let's just go down two shelves here. What is this? Boom. Three meat pies, some ice cream. There's so much stuff there, so many bad things that, you, that are gonna be craving there, but I'm glad this stuff is not mine. Mine is all up here. So what you wanna make sure you're doing is you're keeping all the healthy stuff in your house and you're cutting out everything. The rule is, if it's in the house, at some point or another, it's going to get eaten, whether it be by you or whether it be another family member. So instead of leaving that up to chance, which is probably going to be you who's the one who's eating it, because like me, when I have a sweet tooth, I go craving for it. If you've got nothing there, you don't have those temptations coming up. You actually have to go out of your house. You actually have to go to those temptations and go and buy it, and you're less likely to do it. So do not, I swear, guys, this is going to be the one of the most simplest things there. Do not bring it in your house. You will not eat it. If it's not there, you will not eat it. You, are you really going to have to drive 10 minutes down to the grocery store to go and buy a piece of chocolate? Most likely not. So keep it out of the house, all right? Don't bring it back to you. If you do have those cravings, go out there. Go and buy it if you have to. But go and keep it out there. Eat it. Do whatever you do. Then come back home, okay? It's very, very simple. But this is such a powerful tip. And a lot of you aren't going to do it, okay? But here is one thing I want to tell you to do right now. Okay, go to your pantry, go to your fridge and throw it all out. Oh, this might be my husband or it might be my kids or it might be my... Throw it out. Get the fucking thing out. Get it out of your cupboard, okay? If you get it out of your house, you throw it out and you get rid of it, you give it to homeless people, you do something, it's not going to be there staring you temptation, temptation in the face. And one day you're going to crack. You're going to come home. You're going to be tired from work. 
you're not gonna have any dinner cooked, you're gonna watch something simple and easy, or something quick, you're gonna go and sit down with a thing of chips. You're gonna watch a TV show, you're gonna sit down with a bottle of, with a bunch of snacks or some wine or something there. Cut the shit out right now. Do this one action step. Go to your pantry, go to your fridge, throw all the shit out. I don't care if it's your partners, I don't care if it's your kids, I don't care if whoever it is, if it's if it's gonna be there, you're gonna fucking eat it, and then you're gonna feel guilty afterwards, and then you're gonna blame somebody else. Oh, my husband brought it home. Oh, but tell them, okay? If you have a goal, tell them your goal, get them to support you in that goal, and I promise you, it's gonna be so much easier to stick to, okay? So. Cut around all the shit, all right? If there's anything here that was going to temptate me, I'm not going to go and just make up a whole bunch of oats and eat them because honestly, that's not a big temptation. But if there was sugar there, if there's other crap there, I guarantee you, I'm like everyone else. I would eat it, but it's not there, so I'm not going to have it. So do this one thing. Go to your pantry. Go to your fridge right now. Pause. Stop this video. Go there. Throw it all back. Come back and say one thing you throw out because I guarantee you, when you do this and you don't bring it back in the house, you are going to feel so much better about yourself. There is not going to be that little nagging thing in the back of your head saying, should I have that snack? Should I have it? If it's not there, you're not going to have it. That is your video today. Go and throw all that shit out of your house. Support your weight loss goals and I'll speak to you tomorrow.